Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Let me get this fog off this lens. Good, that's better. Today I'm gonna to show you how to prevent your windshield and windows from fogging up. And we'll be testing these six products to see what works best to defog your windows. Because nobody likes driving when your windshield and windows are constantly fogging up. And sure, you could go to the store and buy window defogger just like this. But what if you could find something at home that works just as well or even better? Now what I'm gonna show you not only applies to the windows on your car, but you could prevent fog on your scuba mask, ski mask, motorcycle mask, sunglasses. You could use it on your mirror in your bathroom to prevent fog when you're taking a shower. And basically anything else you could think of that might fog up. Now in a previous video that a lot of people really liked, I tested different products such as a potato, baby shampoo, hand sanitizer, and shaving cream. And that video got a ton of comments and as you know I read every comment and so for the past year I've written down all the home remedies that you guys said actually works. So now we'll be putting your top six home remedies to the test. We'll be testing mouthwash, a bar of soap, an avocado, an onion, spit, and the crowd favorite, toothpaste. Now to understand what causes fog, we have to understand what fog actually is. To understand what fog is, I have a special microscope camera that we could use to zoom in on the fog at a microscopic level. This is awesome. You could see all the individual water droplets, but that's only at 50 times magnification. So let's zoom into this fog at 500 times magnification. Look at that. Those little water droplets we saw at 50 times magnification are now those larger ones. And you can see there are tons of even smaller water droplets. And that's why it's so hard to see out of foggy windows. So that isn't something you get to see every day. All those water droplets stick to the glass and that's what creates fog. So fog is created when the air has a lot of moisture in it and that moisture wants to stick to something. To saturate the air with moisture, I'm using hot steamy pots of water, which will give us the worst case scenario and maximum humidity. Now, there are two ways to remove fog. The first way is to remove the moisture out of the air, and that can be done with air conditioning set to defrost. The air conditioning cools and pulls the water out of the air. Now, if this doesn't help enough, maybe your rear windows are fogging up, or maybe you don't even have air conditioning, then the second method to stop your windows from fogging up is to put a barrier between the glass and the air so fog can't stick. This is exactly what we'll be testing with these household products to see which one actually works, if they do work at all, and also how well it works. Now, I'm in the back of my car because we have a nice large window here to test out each of those products on. So now I'm gonna wipe the fog off this window so that it's completely dry. The cleaner the surface, the harder it is for the fog to stick. So just having clean windows to start with will help prevent fog to a certain degree. Now that it's completely dry, I'm dividing the window into six sections. One section for each of the items we're testing, plus a control area, which will be to the far left. We're all sectioned off. Right here we have our control, and then we have our six sections to test each defogger. All right, let's start off with bar soap. Now I'm gonna apply all the products using the same method. So I'll have a paper towel and the product. I'll rub each item on so it covers the whole area. And then I'll buff it off using a fresh paper towel until you can see out of the window clearly. So the glass is treated with our soap right in this box. Let's repeat this process with the next five products. And so you don't have to watch the whole process of me doing each one. I'm going to speed through this. Next is the mouthwash. I'm going to be using a new paper towel for each part of the experiment so we don't cross contaminate. And at least if this doesn't work, your glass is going to smell minty fresh. This smells good. Next, we'll be testing spit. And this is what you do when you're scuba diving and your mask fogs up. Since you don't have anything else on you, you use spit. Now that it's on, let's buff it off. Next is toothpaste. I should mention with toothpaste, you need to be careful because all toothpaste has grit in it. That's how it cleans your teeth. So when applying the toothpaste, just don't press too hard and just lightly rub it so you get full coverage. And then lightly buff it off. And if it's too dry, just use a little bit of water. The water makes it really easy to come off. And now my favorite of them all. We are trying the avocado. I'll work it in there with a paper towel. And now that there's complete coverage, I'm gonna buff it off with a new paper towel. All right, our last product and another one that I really like to see if it'll work, an onion. Now this is easy to do. It's almost like the onion was made to be applied to glass. I really hope this works. Now we'll buff it off. All right, just as a quick overview, our controls right here, our bar soap is up here, our mouthwash is down here, our spit is up here, our toothpaste is down here, and our avocado is up there, and our onion is down here. These were your home remedies to prevent fog. So the moment of truth is upon us. Let's see what works. 
With a steamy pot of water in the front, it's already fogging up the windows and the windshield. Plus, I have a little pot for the back here, and I'm going to try to fog up the window. Well, this is kind of interesting and disappointing at the same time. It looks like we only have one product that actually works. But wow, even with the steam staying on the glass, it prevents it from fogging up. So the winner without a doubt is toothpaste. I mean, I'm holding the pot right here in the toothpaste section, and yet it's still clear. That is awesome. I was not expecting it to work that well. So the one with the most comments was the one that worked. Now, if we take a look at everything, you can see the untreated control is all fogged up. The bar of soap looks just as bad as the control. The mouthwash is just a little spotty, but it doesn't look clear enough to use. The toothpaste worked great, as we know. The spit didn't really work that great. And my favorite, the avocado, well, not only was it a pain to put on and take off, it didn't really work that great. The onion worked slightly, but it didn't really clear it enough that I would want to use it. Now, just for fun, I want to show you the store-bought anti-fog stuff and show you how it's supposed to work. This side will be the control, and this side will be the anti-fog. You just apply it with a towel in circular motion, then buff it off with a clean towel and watch this. No fog on the defogger side and fog on the control side. So the store-bought defogger is pretty good, but if you don't have that, everybody's got toothpaste and that worked just as well. And if you watched the last test, we also know shaving cream worked. So now we have two home products that we know work. So in conclusion, the best home remedy, which works surprisingly good, and well, it was the only product that worked, was the toothpaste. Now I can hear some of you saying it already, why not just go and buy the defogger? Well, yeah, the defogger works great, but in a pinch, if you need something that works, everyone has toothpaste, and now we know this actually works. Or maybe you're on vacation and you're scuba diving or snorkeling and your mask keeps fogging up, well now you know, just go to your hotel room, grab some toothpaste, lightly apply it, and now you have a fog-free mask. Plus, toothpaste works great on other stuff too, such as removing the yellow oxidation from your headlights but that's a totally different video. So the mouthwash, bar of soap, spit, onion, and avocado are all busted. Now you know not to waste your time and either get some defogger from the store or some toothpaste. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have a defogger that you guys use, make sure you comment because maybe we could get a whole new list and test your suggestions in another video. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing.